Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. In the today's video, we will be discussing a very interesting topic of CBSE science that is control and coordination. But what exactly are we going to study today? We will be discussing the previous year questions that is from the year 2019 to 2023. But why is this so important? So control and coordination is kind of a topic where you understand in detail about each and every control and coordination of human body as well as into the plants as well. So how your body is going to do basic actions such as movement like the way I am moving right now or any kind of a voluntary action or muscular actions into your heart, into your liver, into different body parts. How everything is controlled and working into sync. Also, we will be discussing into this topic about the hormones which are present into your body, the chemical coordination. Like for example, into female body during the menstrual cycle, the hormones play a very important role. So it's chemically controlling each and every process there. And it is a basic life process which is happening naturally into your body. So it gets very interesting to learn about it, right? Because it's going on into your system. And I'm pretty sure you must have completed everything about the topic up till now. So coming back to our video, so we'll be discussing here the previous year questions, right? So we will be discussing how many marks questions you will be getting in the year 2019, 2020 and 2023. The total questions and the total marks they are give, giving you into the exam. So for one mark, there was one question into the year 2023. Total question were one, so giving you only one mark. For two marks, you had one question in the year 2023. Again, one question giving you two marks. Right? Then you had three marks holding questions which were there into the year 2019 and 2020. 2019 had two questions for that. So total you had three questions giving you total nine marks for that. But in, for four and five mark questions, there were no questions in any of the years. right? But this we can understand, you will be majorly getting the questions from short answer like multiple choice, very short answer or short answer type questions. So it gets even easy to answer those type of questions. right? So similarly, with the help of this graph, you can understand in 2019, you got two questions. In 2020, you got again a one question and in 2023, you had two questions. So let us look at those questions which were actually asked into the previous year. Correct. So here we have the first question from the paper year 2019. So the question that we have here is trace the sequence of events, right? And these events occur when a bright light is focused onto your eye. So what are they expecting here? They are just expecting to write a reflex action which is there because there is a bright light coming into your eye. Just write down the steps for that. And easily, it's, as it's a short answer question, you'll be getting three marks for the same by listing those steps. Then the second question here is what are plant hormones? Simple. A mark you will get easily just for stating what are plant hormones, correct? And you have to name the plant hormones responsible for the functions here. See students, they have already given you the functions such as growing of stem, promotion of cell division, inhibition of growth and elongation of cell. You are already provided with the function. By that, you have to just say which is the particular hormone responsible for the same. So again, a short answer question holding three marks for you. Just by writing what are plant hormones and the names of few plant hormones, you will be able to get easily score three marks from that. Then you have again from the year 2020. So students, this is a case study type question, right? So again, a short answer question holding three marks for you, but it's a slightly different one. And also you have options between the two. A squirrel is in a scary situation. So in a scary situation, we know that certain nervous coordination works into your body. It's like hormones functioning into your body. It has, its body has to prepare for either fighting or running away. So definitely if you are scared, if either you will be fighting with the situation, or you will be running away from the situation. The same thing the school is going to do. You have to state the immediate changes that take place in its body so that the squirrel can either fight or flight or basically run. So here students, they are just expecting you to write down the answer with the help of adrenaline. So adrenaline is a hormone. It's like a hormone which works into such fight or flight situations. And what are the changes, immediate changes that will be taking place? So for example, it will increase the heart rate, it will increase the breathing rate. All of these changes you have to just list down for the squirrel. Or you can also opt for the other question. 
why is chemical communication better than electrical impulse as a means of communication between cells in multicellular organism why chemical coordination is better so in simple words you have to just write the advantages of chemical coordination here we know that both of the coordinations have its own perks and uh, both of them can work better into the body so but why chemical communication communication is better than electrical because chemical communication is going to be giving you a long run effect so for electrical communications as you know students that the signal is just given once right it will be not a long term effect it will be a very short term effect so you can mention that that your chemical signal in is very long term effect and it is going to go show you a response for a very longer period of time similar add couple of more advantages for that and you'll be really good to go okay then next is the year 2023 paper which was just the last year paper so you got one multiple choice question holding one mark for you correct so the question here is select from the following the correct statement about the tropic movement into the plants here we are talking about the coordination in plants so we are talking about the tropic movements of the plant so you have to select the correct statement about that the first one is it is due to the stimulus of touch and temperature it does not depend upon the direction of the stimulus it is observed only in roots and not in stems it is growth related movement so let us analyze the option you know the simple way to answer a multiple choice question is to always eliminate the options first personally i feel that's the most easiest way so you have to state the correct statement so you have to first start eliminating the incorrect ones without going into depth i guess i can see that it is observed only in roots and stems or roots and not only in stems is the simplest way of eliminating this option because it is seen into the stems as well plants growing into the upward direction simple eliminate this option right like this you can start eliminating the options and finally you can reach a destination where you will be getting one mark for answering the multiple choice question then the second question here is write the role of insulin in regulating your blood sugar levels okay you are have to mention the role of insulin in your blood sugar levels in human body and you have to just mention the disease which is caused due to it so we all know the role of your insulin is to control your blood sugar levels and the disease caused by it it would be diabetes and how is the timing and the amount of release of insulin into the body regulated how your body is going to regulate it how your body is going to time it it will be just after your meal once you have taken the meal the blood sugar level rises and insulin is produced that's it correct okay? so it's a short answer type question giving you two marks easily as you know these things happen into your body you know when you will be consuming your meal your blood sugar level rises insulin is produced these are fascinating things happening into your body so it makes it a little easier to answer about it right so students out of all the questions that we have observed we will be solving a few questions like we'll be practicing the answer for a couple of questions okay let's try some of those you have to trace the sequence of events that occurs when a bright light is focused onto your eyes so the solution for this would be when a strong bright light is entering into your eye so there will be a receptor present what would be a receptor any substance or any protein molecule to be more specific if it is present onto the cells they are going to receive the signal receptor receive the signal okay and once they have received the signal they will transmit the impulse where to the sensory neuron sensory neuron is that neuron which will take the signal from the receptor to your brain or to your central nervous system then the sensory neuron carries the impulse to the brain where the brain is going to interpret the brain will process what has to be done into this position as you are having a bright light focus onto your eyes your brain will interpret or analyze that information and process accordingly and then a response signal is generated that response signal has to come back right so it will be traveling through your motor neuron so you have to remember it very easily sensory neuron see how it is present sensory neurons will be present on the sensory organs right so as your sensory organ is taking the signal they'll have the receptors and they will be taking the signal via the sensory neuron so the bright light entering into your eye over there behind the receptors you will have sensory neurons now as this is coming from your brain you will have over here motor neuron these motor neurons 
will take the signal where to the ocular muscles of your eyes that contract and that causes the closing of your pupil i hope children you remember what is the role of your pupil here pupil is a small aperture into your eyes which will control the amount of light which is entering so now as you have too much light available you have to reduce the size of the pupil because there is too much light let's say for example if you enter into a dark conditions your pupil size will increase because they will try to capture as much amount of light as possible but here we already have bright light there is bright light focusing onto your eyes so what do you want into this situation you want the closing of your pupils right so strong bright light enters into your eye receptor will receive the signal transmit the signal to a sensory neuron sensory neuron will take it to the brain interpret the process what we have to do and a response signal is generated travels through the motor neuron to the ocular muscles of eyes and contract the eyes because of which your pupils will be closed now by doing this they are minimizing the light entering into your eyes when a sudden bright light enters we contract our eyes as a response you just close your eyes why because there is too much light entering into your eyes here you are trying to minimize the amount of light to enter inside such a simple solution we understood it's like if you divide it into a flow chart type manner students it will get pretty easy for you to remember this process plus the benefit here is no matter what this flow chart will remain constant you will always have a receptor which will receive the signal the impulse will be transmitted to the sensory neuron they will take it to the brain interpreted response will be generated coming to your motor neuron and giving to the effector or the target organ this will always remain the same depending upon what example they have given you you have to just change the stimuli so for example here the bright light is your stimuli correct and here the effector organ is this one so you remember the whole flow chart only one time and you can just you know substitute the scenario which they have given to you into your question and you will be able to easily score marks for that the next question is from the cbse your 2020 paper which is a three marker question right a squirrel is into a scary situation its body has to prepare for either fighting or running away you have to state the immediate changes correct so the solution here is into the scary situation it creates stress you are under too much stress right now your exams are coming definitely you will be feeling that scare or you will be feeling that pressure so that stress leads to secretion of the stress hormone called as adrenaline correct now this adrenaline hormone is released from where it is released from the adrenal glands which are present above your kidneys right and this is also known as fight or flight kind of hormone because you will be using it when you want to run away from a situation or you want to fight into the situation so right now i know that all of the students who are preparing for the exams are fighting for into the situation so the action of adrenaline will help them help whom the squirrel to respond very quickly and they will be running like you know running into the situation or they will be fighting into the situation because of the release of that hormone now as adrenaline is released you have you will be either running or fighting into the situation because of that but there are certain immediate changes into the body which are observed that is what they are expecting you to write into the answer immediate changes into the body so that the squirrel can run or fight correct so amygdala responds to this particular signal which is coming from your body okay responds to the threat by signaling the brain right and amygdala when it is giving that threatening signal to the brain the brain will start releasing the hormone and finally the hypothalamus activates hypothalamus activity is going to activate your sympathetic nervous system remember students here everything is connected okay you are joining from a to b from b to c like this you are going into a flow chart kind of a chain so it's activating your sympathetic nervous system and as your sympathetic nervous system is activated it will start the release of adrenaline from adrenal glands near your kidneys do you see the signal is given by your brain 
to your sympathetic nervous system which is causing the adrenaline from your glands to be released okay let's do this again you have amygdala amygdala is going to respond to the threat oh there is something scary i am frightened about that will be uh, taken by the amygdala now amygdala has recognized oh there is something scary and you have to send the signal to the brain i have to inform this to the brain so they will send the signal to the brain and now as the brain has received the signal the brain needs to start the process of stress hormone formation now to do this hypothalamus into your brain is activated that activation will cause the activation of your sympathetic nervous system that is your sns and finally it will cause the release of adrenaline from the adrenal glands then release of adrenaline causes an increase in heart and respiratory rate why because it has activated your sympathetic nervous system that is why it is causing the increase into your heart and respiratory rate so normal body activities like digestion reproduction events are paused because at that moment you don't need to digest your food or reproduce you have to just fight or fly into that situation so these are paused for some time okay because you are not needing them right now and the main stress or the main aim of the body is to come out of that situation so you have to protect from the stress it is the main aim of the body into those stress situations okay so yeah this is a little twisted question which they have asked but if you remember into this flow chart mechanism it becomes very easy again the same tip trip applies here students because here they have given a scenario a scary, scary situation but even if you say that there was a child who is going on to a roller coaster ride it will be a completely happy situation right but still the adrenaline will work the same it's also the hormone released when you are too activated or excited right so the same thing happens your heart rate increases your respiratory rate increases same steps happen so ultimately you have to remember these steps only once okay and then you will be able to just uh, reframe your sentences to match your answer according to the question which is given there okay the next question is again from the cbc uh, 2020 year paper which is a three mark question why is chemical coordination better as electrical impulses so the solution that we have here is electrical impulses reach shorter distances right whereas your chemical impulses can travel great distances like different areas into your body because these are chemical messengers and these chemical messengers are transported by your blood system so as your blood is taking it it can be taken anywhere it can be diffused to all the cells of your body very easily that's why chemical impulses are better than the electrical impulses hence chemical communication is better next question is from the year 2019 paper which is again a three marker question right so what are plant hormones and you have to name the hormones which are responsible for the respective functions they have given you okay so we can first define start your answer by defining what is plant hormones plant hormone again a chemical messenger whenever there is a hormone structure remember it's a chemical messenger right and it is present in very low concentration responsible for plants growth reproduction and senescence events so all of these events which are very important into the plant growth cycle right all of this are controlled by your hormones which are present there and they are present in very low concentrations to control these hormones let us look at couple of functions here so you have growth of the stem it is done by gibberellin's hormone then you have promotion of cell division it is done by your cytokinins then you have imbibition of growth that is done by abscisic acid and lastly you have elongation of stems that is done by auxin so just by knowing what particular function is responsible like which hormone is responsible to do that function you have to just state that and you'll be good to go so i hope students you have understood it well all the questions that we discussed today apart from these questions if you find any such difficult question do mention that into the comment section uh, to like share and subscribe for more such interesting videos until next time thank you and happy learning